absolutely amazing sunsets here in Arizona. It's 360 degrees all the way around. Good morning from Parker, Arizona. I'm at Jamie's Van Build Party. I've got a little dog over here that's barking at me, telling me that I'm in his space. Today, I, I desperately need a shower. It's time to head into the city, find a shower, and I need to stock up on some groceries. I'm putting out some markers here, blocking out my spot for two reasons. One, I don't want somebody else parking here while I go into town for just a little bit because I'm parked right next to my friend, Fiona and I just really enjoy your company. Reason number two is that I have a level spot and it's so difficult to level my vehicle that I put this really careful alignment, the cones on each corner, just so I can pull into the perfect spot so I'll be level. I was just told by Fiona that my hat is on inside out and my tag is on one of these sides is sticking out. I, I can't see it, I didn't even notice. Starting the step van is always an interesting experience. This thing vibrates like you would not believe. Rattles, vibrations, shakes. You think you're on an amusement park ride. Let me show you what this is like. I've got to flip my key, wait for the little gold light to go off, and it's ready to go. this warm up for probably five ten minutes before it can go anywhere. I've just arrived at La Paz State Park, I don't know, resort, something like that. It's about 10 minutes north of Parker, Arizona. And the reason I'm here is because they offer two dollar showers. Pretty good deal. I don't know what it is with showers. I think it might have been a traumatic experience I had as a 13 year old with bullying in PE class. Um, we had like an open shower room typical to a junior high high school combination in a very small town of Meeker, Colorado. And just a traumatic experience with being bullied in the shower and as a result I sort of have shower phobia. Public showers, I just don't like them. So anyway, I've uh, I've worked many years to sort of overcome this sort of fear that I have of showers and uh, you know it's sort of a necessity in the van life unless I build a private shower in my step van. Here's the shower here, gonna go inside get cleaned up. Much better, much much better. The question is what to do about a shower in the step van. My original plan was not to have a shower at all. That was plan number one. As you probably know with building your own van projects things evolve. Ideas evolve and you meet somebody, you see another build, you watch online and you come up with yet one more idea. After reading enough comments of the subscribers, which they write down below, everyone encouraged me to put in a toilet and a shower in my step van. Originally I had no plans for that. And so I went about trying to figure out a creative way to go about doing that. Finally I came up with a very elaborate plan to build a stealth shower inside of the kitchen cabinet. So you would open up the countertop and inside would be a half height shower and then you would hang a shower curtain from the ceiling with a hoop with a shower curtain around to bring the water down into this half height shower with a little door that opens up shower pan at the bottom. So that was idea number two. Since that time things have evolved yet again. When I started building the kitchen counter and talking to the people and helping me build it, I realized that's really a difficult thing to build. So now I'm looking again at alternative plans and I'd welcome some input from you. What I don't want to do is waste a lot of interior space for um, a giant shower that blocks the view front to back because it's so tall takes up so much space that's basically wasted. I've looked at ideas like maybe putting um, a closet in there so you can use that space part-time, but I really don't want to go with something that's that tall and blocking my light because I don't have the windows on the sides like most big RVs. So at this point I'm looking at a shower either outside with solar heating, sort of a U-shaped PVC pipe, black pipe, something like that on the roof to feed down to a shower head with a hoop that you hang outside. I think that's probably the way I'm going to go. 
Another idea is maybe put in a shower pan inside of a bench seat that's used for the seating for my tea house and book exchange. I guess it's probably been a while since I mentioned it on the channel, but one of the purposes that I want to have with my step van is an open social space where I can have people inside with a small library of travel books like Lonely Planet, uh, Fodors, or however you pronounce that name. Um, a bunch of travel books for different countries as well as states around the United States and maps. So you can just sort of come in, sip some tea, share some tea, hang out, look at travel books, take any books that you like, and if you have books that you're not using, like maybe you just returned from Germany, and you can donate one of those books to the library and take a book back about Peru. Maybe that's a place you want to go visit. Or maybe you just returned from Colorado, you have a book or a map from Colorado, and you're looking at going to Oregon or something like that, you can pick up one of those books. So it's just a resource, a place to talk about nomadic living, a place to talk about traveling, minimalism, and have some wonderful tea. I'm learning about tea, I'm not an expert, so don't expect any uh, amazing tea house experiences, at least in the beginning, but I think over the years my knowledge will increase and the quality of what I'm serving will increase. No charge for any of this, this is my way of paying it forward and just uh, getting involved in giving to the community of nomads and encouraging people to pursue their passions and their bucket lists. Anyway, back to the shower thing. If you have some ideas on what to do about the shower, either a stealth shower, something that doesn't require a lot of space, uh, maybe something that hangs from the outside off the back doors, something along those lines. I don't think I need a shower very often, only when I go out to events like Jamie's Van Build Party where I'm at now, or maybe going down to Quartzsite. Maybe I don't have access to showers there. Uh, mostly I'm just going to Planet Fitness in the cities and so it's really a camping shower situation that I'm looking for and a solution there. I'm gonna head back into Parker, need to go get some groceries and get prepared for the Thanksgiving party which is coming up just in a couple of days. Um, I volunteered to contribute some corn in the can, something that's easy and about my cooking level. That's yet another story and something in the future is trying to figure out recipes and things that I can cook in the van. I'm learning to cook like so many other things that I don't know about. I finished all my errands in Parker and I'm going to head back out to the build site for Jamie's van build party and get myself some lunch and then a nap. I love my naps. Oh, I'm back at the camp. Made myself a cup of coffee. I know, I know, I should be drinking tea given I'm starting this whole book exchange and mobile tea house, but I'm still a coffee addict. I just have to admit this to myself. I'll be learning the art of serving tea and brewing tea and, and it will it will come. Uh, but today I just wanted a cup of coffee, sit and chill and relax and enjoy the amazing weather today. Perfect temperatures, perfect breeze. It's just amazing. Um, what a wonderful day. Jamie and Lee back here are working on a project with a custom box installing some electronics. These guys are fast, fast, fast. Jamie's just moving around like a, a cyclone, just cutting stuff, screwing stuff. It's amazing. I guess they've knocked out over 75 jobs now here at the Van Build Party. Absolutely incredible. It is yet another spectacular sunset. Absolutely amazing sunsets here in Arizona. It's 360 degrees all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.